Hi, everybody. Welcome to Mark's Backyard Birds. Today, a species profile that is very, very uh, timely, this being the end of February. Uh, the the bird and topic is the American woodcock. Now, I, I put the picture up here. I titled the program the Timber Doodle. And there's a couple of reasons for that. It, it is one of the most recognized nicknames for this bird, the American woodcock. But uh, I was also warned that sometimes if you use that title uh, in a, a program, it will get flagged <laughs> by the internet. So uh, this is the American woodcock, and it is one funny looking bird. And no, you typically do not see them uh, in your backyard. Although I have had pictures uh, sent to me from people that have had them just walking across their yard before. Uh, they're, they're, they're worm eaters, as that long bill will show you. They are uh, a shorebird per se, like much like the, the uh, Wilson snipe, another bird that has that long bill, hardly, hardly any tail at all. And they probe that bill uh, deep into muddy banks. And um, they're, the tip of their bill is actually flexible. And so they can grab hold of worms and bring them. Uh, one of the nicknames for them is bog sucker. Uh, it tells you kind of where they live. They prefer, Instead of living on the ocean uh, and in coastal marshes and things like that, they tend to live in wet, uh, weedy fields, wet, um, uh, usually younger timber, but also in older timber down along creeks and streams where the where the where it is soft. But they're mainly, you know, not a lot nocturnal. Um, and they... If you've ever seen one walk, it is absolutely hilarious. Uh, I wish I had video of them, but they they bob when they walk. They they they'll they'll take a few steps and then they'll rock back and forth and walk back and forth. And uh, they're hilarious to watch. I've seen it on a couple of occasions. They're so well camouflaged. Finding them is very very difficult, obviously. But if you get a chance to watch them do their their walking across, they one belief is that. Uh, their this uh, movement of their walking may help stimulate the worms under the ground because you know, that's mainly what they eat. So, and uh, another really cool fact about this bird, according to Cornell Lab of Ornithology, is like uh, they worded it. You know, when you like to have eyes in your back of your head, well, because their head is down and probing so much their eyes are way back to the back of their skull so that they can see pretty much behind them while their, their head is down for a more of a defense mechanism, which is another really, really cool thing. So uh, a great shorebird kind of in, in the wetlands and the woodlands. And yes, like I said, I've had people here in Kansas City send me video of them. What's this bird walking across my, my backyard before? And uh, they, they are a very, very unique creature. Now, I said that it's very, very timely right now because this is a time they're doing their mating dance. And that is a spectacle of nature that if you can get a chance to go out and see, you really, really should. Uh, I was director of Martha Lafitte Thompson Nature Sanctuary and Liberty for several years, um, and they've had um, the the timber doodles or the American woodcocks out there dancing in the spring. Uh, I saw posts from uh, the director's wife out, the, out there right now. And she said that the, the woodcocks are, are doing their thing right now. So uh, a little, little early this year, but not, not too early. Usually we say the first of March is, is kind of what we go by. But um, so what this dance entails, okay, wait, I'm going to bring up another picture just to illustrate uh, how camouflaged they are. If you can see that bird, this is one we uh, we stumbled on uh, out at Marth at Baroque Woods Nature Center here in Kansas City several years ago. And look how incredible camouflaged she is hiding in there. How do I know that's a female? It's because there is a baby, and the males do no parental care whatsoever. Uh, and so this is the little baby that was there that we we didn't mean to. We flushed her uh, and she flew out and we saw the baby there on the ground. Uh, she did come back. We got out of the way, got out of in, in, in the way. But she is incredibly hard to find. And, and typically the only time I got to see them is whenever I almost step on them and they flush out from under my feet and they really scare me. And they are game birds. People do hunt them. Uh, they, you know, they big and there's enough meat on them to heat eat and so especially like during the depression eras and things like that they were uh definitely favored game birds at that time so i'm not sure how big the hunting market is on them now anymore but um the, they they are a game bird so but this mating dance that they do i'll tell you about that it's so cool typically it is up on a on a, on a hilltop 
near their wet areas where they live. Uh, and it's usually an open, very open area. There can be some scattered trees, but a lot of times it's really, really open up on a hilltop. Uh, and I'll tell you a story from Pennsylvania when I was a director of the Nature Center there. Uh, two people that worked for me went out with some friends to watch this uh, mating ritual at a, a park where they knew they did. And and they, they crawled up on their bellies at the edge of the hill and they were looking across, looking out the open, watching it and see what happens is the males take off in, in flight and they fly big circles and they go beep, beep. Beep, and they can go two to 300 feet up in the air, way up there. And when they reach the pinnacle, then they start to, to just to dive back down, just to flutter down. And as they do, they come back down in this big uh, arching back and forth. And they twitter as they come down. And the females are down there on the ground. And she, he, he lands near her. And if she's impressed by this ritual, this, this mating dance, then they choose to mate. And, and he can mate with several females. And she can actually all, also visit many different uh, penting sites and, and uh, mate with different males as well. So, uh, but she does all of the nesting and the, and the young rearing um, uh, just a fascinating bird and a fascinating ritual. Uh, it's very hard to film because it's so dark when they're out there uh, and up against the sky, it, it, it's, it's hard to capture, but you can hear that sound of the, the American woodcock or the timber doodle or the bog sucker or the Labrador Dazzler. There's all kind of nicknames for for these birds, but uh, they're more well known than they are seen. They are with this camouflage. You can see why they're hard to find. So fascinating bird. And it's great to know that they're out there and they're doing their thing. They're a part of our natural world. They live in the eastern two thirds. Well, more actually more the eastern half of the United States. Uh, the straight down the middle of the country to the east coast um, uh, to the west coast. You don't have them. Sorry about that. But uh, yes, they are definitely an eastern half of the United States, and their ritual is very, very famous, um, especially in in the in the northern parts of their range. So uh, that's a great topic for a bird that's a unique species profile. I'm sorry, it's not a feeder bird, but it's a fascinating bird to learn about. So send in ideas for other uh, creatures you want me to to uh, do a focus on. Uh, give us a like, give us a share. Um, please, if you're on YouTube, subscribe. Uh, until then, come on, let's talk birds.